Good morning. This is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. And it is Sunday for me, or Saturday for me, sorry. And so that must mean that it's another day for you because I'm filming on Sunday for my muse on Monday. So let's not mess with my muse and let's get busy. I decided to conquer what I have been putting off and that is making a, a journal out of used envelopes. So I like this for my base. So I'm going to start right there. Now I have gone through and reset up my camera and everything today. It was not easy. I'm going to order a new pole and stuff because the one I have has all these bends in it and you can adjust them and tighten them way down and I am just bruised on my fingers from cranking on them trying to get them tight enough to hold my camera in place. I use a 4k um, movie camera, a video cam and uh, it's a little heavy for the pole so I need to order a new one but I certainly discovered yesterday when I was making the um, 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 sorry the journal the writing journal the um, Hortensia that um, I definitely need um, a new base That one is a little smaller. And let's see, so I'm going to cut some of that off, definitely. It's a little bit smaller than that one and it doesn't go over, so I like that. And it also has a window. Ooh, windows. Don't know a lot about windows on this. My goodness. So I think maybe the first thing I need to do is I need something in that window and I guess I can start by covering this up. Then I'll know what to put in the window, right? Um, however, I kind of learned from Rachel that if you want to do something with the inside of this envelope, you should open it up first. Now, this is a pretty strong envelope. I don't know if I can open it without destroying it. Oh, I'm off camera again. See, there I go. Pulling things in really close to my body. And, uh, I forget. I just totally forget. Don't want to tear my window there. Okay. I'm going to have to find my glue. There it is. So anyway, I'm back on a new setup. I put my glass mat back down. I changed my working mat underneath because I did some painting yesterday and had a big mess. So I went ahead and changed that. And then I decided, well, you know, I'm not using this gessoed, um, board so I'm going to put it underneath my mat and if I mess it up eventually it'll get painted so it's okay to mess that one up underneath and what else what else do I have going on let's see something on the inside of an envelope music 
could be music. Oh, I'm only using uh, scraps, by the way. I told myself I couldn't use any paper line until I got through some of my scraps. Gosh, that one almost fits perfect. I would kind of like to close this, you know, um, use something different on the back. Just because... Um, I know I must have something a little larger. Oh, here's all my... I was playing with all my sprays yesterday and sprayed up this whole mat. It's all the sparkly stuff. I wasn't doing anything. I just was playing. Well, this is all I have. I might have to get something new. I might have to cheat on already. You do have to remember, these are scraps. That's a nice heavy base there. And it's just about perfect. We just have to cut it down a little bit. Don't want it to touch that edge there. So we'd have to squish down in the pocket a little bit more. Let me cut that off. Just got to turn around here. A new scrap, but it's smaller. Yes, yes it is. This kind of looks like it goes has an up and down, doesn't it? Let's see, now this is the back of the envelope, so what I really want to do here is cut this piece off. I guess I can tell that I am using the envelope. For something, who knows what. Going to cut just to the inside of that line. Not looking for perfection. Not going to save that little piece into the trash bin it goes. Okay, so that's going to slide in and be right there. And that's going to go on top of it. All right, now it's time for glue. I'm going to set that pin up there on my magnet so it doesn't get away from me. The reason I wanted to put... There's a little bug in here. Do you see it flying around? I think it's after... I have a Coke in here. I think it's after that. little thing. You are not allowed in here. Well, if it sticks up a little bit, that's probably okay, huh? What do you think? This is complicated. Gracious me. Now this one's got to go in. 
And then this one. Let's get rid of that actual little tiny piece of paper. I'm not saving it. We'll glue that little piece back onto it. Anyway, the reason I'm putting a big piece in there is because I wanted to make it a little bit stronger. So, I'm back with my glass mat, so if I accidentally set something on it too loud, I'm really sorry. I tend to do that with this. Okay, so there's that. That's a good start, right? Okay, now I need something just on the inside here. So when you open it, you don't initially see just that color there. And I'm going to have to fix this. So I'm going to give it... Um, Going to put that there to here. If I have something going on top, it can have a hinge on top. Okay, right, got it. Another smaller piece, see? So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to fold it in half. <laughs> I'm so far away from my body trying to scrap that um, but it's the only place I can put my camera that um, it won't uh, collapse. This might not be straight. That might be part of the problem. Oh, well, it did okay. So what I'm going to do here is glue this onto my flap. And then I will cut it with a little envelope angle on it. Ooh. I just thought of something. Well, if it needs a closure, well, what will I do? What will I do for a closure? So I'm just going to fold that over that flap. That flap over that flap. Just like this. Just to strengthen it back up. I could not really think of what to do today. To be honest with you, my muse was really not very amused after messing with my camera. Sorry about that noise. It does, the, unfortunately, the glass mat does have a, a bit of a clang to it. Now, I don't care that this edge is white because I'm going to juice it up here with some color. And I have my vintage photo distressing ink. Um, I kind of, I really love the espresso, but it's so dark. So, we'll try this. I might need to put some more ink in there. Oops, sorry. Out of camera again. Okay, so now we have that top part done. So we need to 
kind of make an edge here. How shall we do it? Hmm, that'd be an interesting shape. Should we try it? Why not? So if I cut this piece off and flip it on over there, I wonder if that will work. Let's find out. Oh yeah, that looks nice. So I think what I'll do is trace that. Whoops. I must have it upside down. It really needs to go right to the edge there. So it is slightly a different size. Okay. There we go. That looks nice. So let's ink that up. I love this paper. I don't remember what it came from, but I do love it. I'd love to have sheets that color on my bed. <laughs> okay, let's ink this part right here. on the inside, I guess. When you ink it, it looks really vintage. Okay, so there's that. And that. And now we need to do the inside. Just a little bit. We don't need to do very much of the inside. A little thinner paper that I could put in there. I don't want it to be too thin because it'll be a hassle to put it in. So I need about that much because I don't want it to go into the window. Right there. Let me cut that off and then we'll have another smaller piece of paper. Yay! All my scraps come out of a drawer that is right beside me here. And let's see. Okay, so on something like this, if you just glue the top and a little down the side and then just barely put any glue in there, it's going to stay flat pretty much. Well, it might not because I do have to put something in there, don't I? Hmm. Oh, glued it to my fancy envelope front. There we go. Get 
glue off of that too. I'll just wipe it off with my hand. I guess it doesn't matter that it's slightly crooked. As long as it's not over the window. Okay, now something for the front. What do we want to do at the front? Or not? I like the idea of putting something on there. Gosh, it's this chocolate on it. Should like stay like a whole piece, shouldn't it? Oh my goodness. Let's go here. I love these envelopes when they come in because they're so big. Now, do I want to tear that? I think I do. Do I? Do I not? Do I? Do I not? It's upside down. If I do, I should. Looks good torn, doesn't it? I'm not going to tear this or that edge. I don't have to worry about this one because it's going to get covered. I think I'll go to the darker color. Sorry about my arm. Things are in a different spot now. My camera's actually at a different spot on my desk. So that's kind of weird too. Because it puts me in just, you know, just inches away from where I used to sit. But it's still different. It's, I can definitely tell that I'm not in my spot. I don't usually craft on this end of the desk. We still have some chocolate people. Some of these chocolate owners. Hmm. I, think, I think I'll do that. So I would have, oops, sorry. Tear it right there to there. I wonder what it would be like to own a chocolate shop. Anybody out there own a candy shop? Gosh, I'm afraid that I would forever be eating candy. Once I start, it's hard to stop. I mean, I do, but it's just it's what I don't like about Halloween. Because we always buy big candy bars for our trick-or-treaters. And uh, they're so good. It's so wonderful to eat a giant candy bar, you know. <laughs> Not a fun size. I don't think the fun size are really that fun, do you? I mean, if I am going to waste unneeded calories on a candy bar, I want to eat, you know, the regular old size that we used to get when I was a kid. Not the giant bars, but, you know. The nice size candy bars. Hmm. 
Yeah, well, if I'm going to eat a Snickers, I want it to be the whole candy bar. Oops, I t Oh, I had to tear that bottom off, didn't I? I was going to say, why did I tear the bottom off? Oh, I sure like that paper. Mmm, it's delicious. Isn't it? Because I have to tear off that little tiny edge. Can I tear off a little tiny edge? Oops. Let's go this way. Press it down firmly. Oops. Let's see if it fits. Mmm. Does not. See, I got a hole there. Well, we'll just save it for something else. How about that? Throw away those little bits. I'm not saving them. So this one is just the same size, so don't do that. That's a pretty color, isn't it? Well, that tore funny. Ah, ha, ha, ha. But just it tore funny. So what's your favorite candy bar? Mine actually is a Snicker bar. I just love it. They are so good. Oops, that was the wrong inker. Need the dark inker. See, I have two. That one's my vintage and that one's for my espresso. I don't know why I like the espresso, the espresso so much. It turns really dark as it dries. And then I, I don't really like it as much because it looks more like I have burned the edges. I remember when I was much younger, teenager, I used to um, write letters and I would go out and take it outside with a lighter and I'd burn all the edges around it very carefully. Oh. Oh. I'm supposed to go that way, aren't I? I tore the wrong side. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Alright. I'll have to tear that off straight. That'll have to do. back up on this side. I just was so thrilled with that color on the other side. It made me think of fall. We're having a much cooler day today. I think it's supposed to burn off though and get hot, but gosh it's sure nice. We're not as hot as where our, uh, one of our daughters lives. She gets really hot weather in Kansas, but uh, 
I love the winter winters in Kansas. Don't like the summers in Kansas. She always wants me to come out in the summer. I'm like, I'm not coming out in the summer. Of course, I haven't got to go out this year because of COVID. And boy, do I miss seeing my little grandson. Goodness. We need some bazing up here. There's some bazing. Oh, there's an I love you. Mm. Oh, but I do like this. I love this. Let me tear that bottom piece off first. Now let's tear this off first. That's a really nice part there, too. Yeah. <clears throat> that looks a little too upside downy. But I like that. I really like that. That would be upside down. Um, so I would need to tear this right about here. I don't care if it overhangs the window. <clears throat> I hope I'm not talking too soft. I'm just a little miffed with my camera today. It got the best of me. Ooh, I don't need to tear the whole thing, do I? Only need to tear it up to what right about here. So let's take that little piece off first. If I can figure out where I marked it at. Goodbye, little flower. Okay. That's going to go there, and that little piece is going to come off right there. Hopefully I'll get it in the right spot. Ta-da! A window. Oh, I could have taken it off a little bit more. The window is shrinking! Actually, I think I'll take this off a little more and run a little piece there, too. That's pretty too. Oh gosh. So many pretty colors. You dig into your papers and you're like, ah, now I know why I bought it. Because it's pretty. It's a beautiful paper. Sometimes if I have to clean up this room, I think, why did you buy that? <laughs> and then I clean my room up, and, I, and I'm like, oh, no wonder you, you bought it. Look at that. You can find it. It's beautiful. off at the top. Flip this around this way. Pressing firmly. Not firmly enough apparently. 
And then I need to take off. Not very much, is it? Caught up in there. Okay, so now we can decide do we want it to go this way or that way? This way or that way? We'll just put it on. This edge is solid. Uh, straight line, so we'll put it over here. Oh, I just used that light color again in my my poor vintage photo. It's going to be a little bit more like deep dark coffee. Okay, boy, I need to get to work on a couple of journals I got going. Oh, that uh, one I'm working on. Oh my gosh, it is so amazing. Oh. It is a regular journal, the kind I used to buy from Hallmark when they had these little squarish journals to write in. I loved them. Absolutely. They were so perfect to write in. They were, you know, had blank paper in them and they were just so perfect. And then they quit making them. And I sure have a lot of them. Look at that. That looks nice. Okay, it's the beginning. Throw that there. Throw that there. Throw that there. Put that up there. Put this one up there. Okay. Ooh, I like it. See, we got a purchase receipt because we went and bought candy bars. Oh, that looks cool. I think I'm getting comfortable with this idea. Woohoo! Now, I said I wanted to put on one of these other ones, didn't I? I wonder what I did with it. What was it, a census one? I can't find it. This is how I normally open mail. <laughs> Well, that one's too big. I'd have to cut some of it off, and I have to give it a new flap. Oh, dear, what can the matter be? I would like to get this again, the Mary Jane Farm. I really like that magazine. What about this one? Yeah, we'll do that one. See, right there. We are going to glue that to the back. But we are going to leave some room for a journal. So, I'm going to do the same thing I did on this flap. I'm going to give it an added flap. Flip flap. Um, the reason is, is because I'm going to score it and make room for a journal in there. So, Hold over that. Let's see. Doesn't need to be very much. 
So maybe if I cut it, score it right around in here somewhere. Yeah, I think so. Scoreboard, where are you? Oh, over there. Sorry about that. And then we're going to score it. Okay. And then right because it's atta it's attaching, right? I have to think about what I'm doing here. Um, so we will score it right here for a fold. at um, one and seven eighths. the same length. I'm going to cut off that nice cut edge there that I made. I hope this works. <laughs> doesn't work. Well, well, it just doesn't work, does it? Put that little piece off. Okay. Let's do it this way. I can gauge it better from the top first. Because what I want is this to be the length of the envelope. Because not only does it have to be a flap, and a fold, not a flap for the envelope, but um, to strengthen this flap, but it also needs to um, I'm going to score it for 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 what inch? I don't know. Sound like my little grandson. I don't know. Let's squish it down because I think I overstretched it. Um, because I have to score it in order to put a journal in it. I've got the words out. Yay!
Oh boy. I love the glass mat because it's so easy to clean. You just um, spray it with uh, Windex and it just, everything just peels right off of it. Okay, so this has to attach to this. Yes, something like this. So I'm going to, I have a score mark here. I need a score mark wherever this book is going to set. And then this will hold the journal. Right? I hope. I hope. I don't know. We'll find out. What's the worst that can happen? I have another piece of scrap paper. Goodness. Okay. Bottom folder. Okay. For a journal, you don't need much of a spine, do you? So, like, there is an inch mark. Well, four inch mark, half an inch, but then I'm going to stuff it with something. So I better go um, three eighths, no, five eighths. I'm going to go five. paper is thick. Three quarters. Yes. It's thick. That's for sure. And the glue is wet, so that doesn't really help. Let's take this off of here. Because it is still wet, I'll probably end up tearing the paper. Okay, now this one is going to glue to that one, but not right on the doodad, not right on the edge on this. I want to make sure we leave enough. this paper. Must be a Tim Holtz because it's so nice. Need to leave it just a little away from there. Right? Okay. Flip it over. And give it some love back here. Big hugs, paper, big hugs. Let's see. Oh yeah, 
Room for a journal right there. Yay! Okay. Let's fold that back in. Now, what shall we do here? Oh, look, I found my census one. Yay! Here I had it all cleaned up in here, and now I've got this big pile of paper over there. And, um, it's on the side that I trained myself to put my tools, and so now my tools are back over that side. And, oh, goodness. Let's see what we have. Here is a letter. How cute is that? be cute to stick in one of the envelopes, wouldn't it? Just like that. Doesn't help if you glue it together. Okay, so I need to do the inside of the envelope first because it has a window. Um, should I open it and do it the same way? We don't really want it to open on this side, do we? We want it to open on this side. Right? Right, right. So I think what we'll do first then before we... Yeah, it'll have to open on this side. But I might have another envelope over there. So maybe we want it to open up here. No, I think maybe here. Because it doesn't have to have a flap on it to open at all. Um, if we want to attach another envelope to it, like this one, then we would just attach it. And then yeah. or Could be a journal. No, I don't want that to interfere with the journal. We can put a pocket on that side. Nothing says we have to use the window. We have a window there. Doesn't mean we need windows everywhere, does it? Oh my gosh, we only have a minute and 29 seconds left. So, anyway. I think maybe I love this coffee dyed paper. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, it smells so good. I think I will open it. I've never been so careful with my. <laughs> My junk mail. Usually tear it open, throw away the envelopes, recycle the envelopes, I should say, and uh, get rid of it. And here I am treating it like it's all gold. Time is up. Oh my gosh. Start. Reset. Well, can't reset it. It won't go back to it. Um, 
Okay, well, sorry I'm kind of quiet today. Just got really miffed at my... <sighs> at my... Uh... <laughs> Oh, my camera. I don't want to put that in there. That's, i got to save that for something else. So, uh, anyway. Well, I guess it's time to say goodbye. I hate to, but I have to. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to all our family. Oh, I think I will use this one on the inside. It doesn't quite fit. I think it fits enough. I think I'll just glue it down and then cut it. Um, this piece is going to, uh, well, I can put stripes on the end. I have stripes. Look, I have them off of the off cuts from yesterday. Oh, they're not wide enough. <laughs> But, look, here's one. I don't know. I have to let you go, so I'm starting to worry now about keeping you too long. So, anyway, I will talk to you in tomorrow's video. And then Wednesday's video and Thursday. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Well, tell you what. Next time I get back with you on the Envelope album, we'll continue working on it. Or maybe I'll work on it a little bit. And then we can work on it together a little bit. Because they really confuse me. I, I'll be honest with you. They really do. So, anyway... Thanks for hanging out with me. I needed company today. Uh, always good to have a little bit of company to talk to. I sure miss people. Oh my gosh. I miss people like crazy. I'm a social person and love to chat with people. Not eternally, but you know. I like to chat for a while and then go do some work and chat again and go do some work and of course I'm retired so anyway I go out and chat with my hubby and do some work around the house so anyway I sure appreciate hanging out with you anyway I um I said that again anyway is there any way that I can stop saying that probably not I say it all the time. So I will let you go and I will see you soon in the next video and we'll be doing something different. I think we'll be back on the Hortensia journal. It's oh it's so beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I love it. So and uh, I have a little Hortensia I can show you. This is the mini one. It's the one I practiced on. Isn't that cute? Oh, I'm going to put it on my Etsy site for sale. It's just it was a little practice album. And isn't that almond paper pretty? Oh, I just think it's so lovely. Yeah, I did a little mini. These are the off cuts from the paper that's inside of the hortensia and uh, gosh it's pretty it's a regular journal this is like a little mini journal isn't that cute 
198 pages, I believe. Anyway, I just love it. I just think it's so pretty. Okay, got to let you go. My time is up with you, and I'm going over. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everyone.